Today on the Ram Report, we have a message from the National Honor Society, a look behind the recent mural, hallway wars, as well as a report on the Lower Marion 5K race. With our anchors, Tata Fofana and Maya Tapp, that's all, right now, live from the Herodon High School Television Studio in Rosemont, Pennsylvania, this is the Ram Report. Hi, my name's Tata. And I'm Maya Tab. During advisory right now, members of NHS are checking in on donations for their Thanksgiving food drive. Here's a special thank you from the Montgomery County of Health and Human Services for donating. Hi, Harrington. Hi, Nadine Miller, Montgomery County Office of Children and Youth Administrator. We want to take a few minutes to uh, thank you uh, for the kickoff that you're about to do with the Thanksgiving baskets. Each year we look forward to this. We're going into year 11. You guys always do a phenomenal job. Bring it every year and we are so excited for this year and really look forward to the day. Hi guys, my name is Dan Gould. I'm a supervisor for the Adolescent Unit at the Montgomery County Office of Children and Youth. You guys make it possible for a lot of our families to have a Thanksgiving that otherwise they wouldn't be able to do. Um, they live on a fixed income, they have a uh, low income, so thank you guys and keep up the good work. My name is Karan Parekh, I'm a truancy caseworker with the Montgomery County Office of Children and Youth and the holidays are a special time for other families. A lot of our families struggle around this time of need and by you providing us with the baskets from the high school, this will give, give our families a chance for them to enjoy the holidays. Hi Harrington, hi, my name is Jamie Lowry. I am an independent living coordinator at Montgomery County Children and Youth. I work with older youth, 18 to 21. So I am appreciative of the food and the boxes that you put together for them as they don't have families to go home to a lot of times for the holidays. So very grateful and appreciative of all the hard work you've done to put this together. So thank you very much. Hi, my name is Bill Carroll. I'm the community engagement manager at the Montgomery County Office of Children and Youth. Our agency really wants to thank all of you for all your donations and for how you are affecting many of our families at a time when they really need it. Um, also, you're really helping our staff. This is really something we all rally around and look forward to each and every year for the last 10 years or so. So we really appreciate all your help and thank you for what you're doing for other families. Hi, I'm Veronica Hillman and I am the donations coordinator. I would really want to thank all of you guys for the many years of participation and all the wonderful food that you have supplied to our families. It goes beyond the holidays. It goes beyond anything that you guys can imagine. A lot of our families go hungry sometimes and this holiday meal means the world to them. We really appreciate all of your support. We especially appreciate how generous you are in bringing extra gift cards and extra food so that we can get baskets out to more families. Every year over the past 11 years, I've sent you 100 families and that's covered about half the need. So please be generous when you donate and thank you for all you've done for us. Notice the new mural in the lobby of Harrington. We turn to Natalie and Jen for more information about the process of creating it. Hi, I'm Jen. And I'm Natalie. And today we will be interviewing the creators of the mural. Around 20 students led in designing the mural over a span of two years. And a group of seniors painted the mural as a part of their senior project. Many students, including Mira Clapp and Jill Dixon, worked on planning and creating the mural over the past summer. So what inspired the mural? The mural was inspired by our community actually. It was trying to figure out a way that we could have a huge message of unity and belonging as soon as you walk in the door. What major role did you play in creating the mural? Um, all of us helped design the mural. We did a lot of research on like the different native species here um, in order to incorporate them and like bring a sense of unity. Um, to all of like the aspects that make our region and Harriton what it is. Um, what's your favorite part in creating the mural? 
Um, I really liked coming up with the color scheme and the composition. Um, I also helped with the skyline, so that was really fun. Are there any important meanings behind the mural? Yes, a sense of belonging and a sense of community. Um, we put a lot of different elements in there. Uh, we really did a lot of research, the students did too. Culturally, we tried to do different patterns and designs. Honestly, I've been working on this for over two years. This has been something that Ms. Jackson and I had thought about, um, just an idea. We worked with a group of students and we worked with artists from the mural arts program. And so we figured out from planning and sketching and concepting to the actual like visual design of the mural itself. And then we all got to paint it in the end, which was the most fun part. Are there any like hidden me meanings in the painting? Um, the words are actually from Harrington students um, and we asked English teachers for like excerpts from um, poems that students wrote, so those are actually uh, words from Harrington students. I know that um, not everybody knows exactly who all of the figures are, but they're what brings life to our school, and so it was really important that we represented a variety of different kinds of students and um, still showing them as being unified and everyone being welcome. Uh, there has been a thing for all teachers here, starting with Mr. Weinstein, that he asked us all to be marigolds because they're good companion plants. They help other things grow. So we hope that that would be instilled a part of the mural too, that it would be a sense of growth, that everyone would be able to feel a part of it, but also that this is a place for growing and learning and community. The vibrant, expansive mural reflects Harriton's commitment to building belonging and bringing together diverse voices to explore themes of identity, growth, and interconnectedness. Its presence will serve as a lasting reminder to be kind, accepting, and inclusive for years to come. Beyond the art department, the project involves students and faculty from various disciplines who collaborated to pen a poem entitled I Am From, a central feature of the mural. The poem delves into themes of origin and diversity, development and transformation, togetherness and unity, reinforcing the values the mural embodies. Thank you for tuning in to this exclusive interview. And now back to the news desk. Thanks guys. This year, Harriton will be hosting its biggest competition yet, Hallway Wars. Each grade level will be assigned a hallway and will decorate it into a winter wonderland. Here's Oliver with more details. Yo, we need you guys. We need you now. Your country needs you to make pretty things in the hallway. We're on a mission to find who is the most hype for Hallway Wars. And I'm gonna go over there. Joel, how excited are you for Hallway Wars on a scale of one to yes? Uh, I'm pretty excited for Hallway Wars. <laughs> right here we have the wonderful Mr. Warshower. Mr. Warshower, are you excited to see these hallways all purdied up for Hallway Wars? Absolutely. You're absolutely excited. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Hallway Wars uh, leaders. Who, who do you think will win the Hallway Wars? Seniors, obviously. All right, who do we have here? And are you guys excited for Hallway Wars? Yeah. Taraji. Yeah. And what, what grade are you guys in? Ninth. Ninth? Are you guys going to win? Yes, yeah, yeah, it does. Oh, it certainly ought to be very exciting. Are you guys excited for Hallway Wars? Yes or yes? Yeah, Extremely. obviously. Yes. We have a snapshot of the Is it your birthday? Yes or yes? Tomorrow it is. Tomorrow it is. What are you going to do for your birthday? <laughs> I don't know. Are you excited for Hallway Wars? Yes or yes? I'm so so excited right now. What like, are we go what are we going to see in your class? Are we going to see bright colors? Are we going to see anything spectacular? What I kind of want to see a dinosaur, like a dinosaurs aren't really that win. Yes, yes, or yes. Are you are you excited for Hallway Wars? Yes. We have a yes. Uh, we're going to see snowmen and we're going to see reindeers. <laughs> we're going to see Santa Claus. <laughs> Is the sophomore class or the junior class going to win Hallway Wars? Sophomore, Junior sophomore, class, sophomore, Junior sophomore. Win no. Follow, why are you following me? Sir? Sir, are you excited for Hallway Wars? I don't know what hall. Why don't you? I, can, I can't wait for Hallway Wars. <laughs> Everybody talks about like what you're looking forward to. Ha! Huh. Thanksgiving, cuddling with the family, the snuggle cuddles, you know what I mean? Growing up. No! Hallway Wars is where it's at! <laughs> Yeah! You heard it in these halls!
Thanks, Oliver. Last weekend, Lower Marion hosted a 5K for the Sean Hughes Memorial Fund, and now Sam Ferencik has the full story. Last Sunday morning, over 150 people participated in the second annual Character Counts 5K run, which took place at the Lower Marion High School track. At 9 a.m., runners and walkers took off from the starting line in a loop around the neighborhood adjacent to Lower Marion High School. After the race, I spoke to winning runner Ryan McCabe about his race. How do you feel? You just you just won the race. How do you feel? I felt pretty good. It was a good run. Where do you go to school? You go to Alum? I go to LaSalle College High School. What does it mean to run this race for such a great cause? I mean, uh, Nolan's my friend. Um, I went to school with him. It's great running here for yeah. him. At the conclusion of the race, the participants and crowd walked over to the high school where the district broke ground on the Sean A. Hughes Memorial Plaza and Garden, which honors the late principal of Lower Marion. Our family, for us, every corner of this campus is filled with memories of Sean. And now his memory will live on in a lasting tribute for all to remember and for all to be inspired. Thank you. After the ceremony, I caught up with Mr. Weinstein, Mr. McHale, and Ms. Hughes on why this 5K meant so much to them. Hi. I'm here with Scott Weinstein, acting assistant to the superintendent, former Herodin principal. What does it mean to you that so many people came out for this amazing race? Um, it's really, hello, uh, first of all, <laughs> it's really special. Um, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but as principal of Herodin for all those years, I worked very closely with Sean Hughes. So, you know, we went through a pandemic together as high school principals, yeah. <laughs> certainly a bonding experience. So. I know Sean's impact on the community, so I'm not surprised to see a lot of people here, but it means a whole lot to see everyone coming together for such a re really amazing cause. I'm here with Brady McHale, you're the organizer for this amazing 5K. What does it mean to you that so many different people came out to support the Sean A. Hughes Memorial Fund? You know, it's it's fabulous. It's it's a, it's a phenomenal cause. Yeah. Mr. Hughes or Dr. Hughes and his legacy here at Lower Marion now will have a, a tangible place in this the, the reflective garden, and we're excited for that, and, and the funds raised today go directly to that but it's the most exciting part is seeing all the alumni who came out a lot of the community members um, that, that live in the area that saw the signs and, and responded and that's it's really exciting I'm here with Christy Hughes here at the LM 5k what does it mean that so many different people came out to support this event to you it means the world to my family and I also can't even imagine what this would have meant to Sean yeah he meant so much to so many different people um, not only in the lower Marion community um, the whole the whole um, athletic league community, mm -hmm. um, Montgomery County, different sports leagues. Yeah. Um, Sean meant a lot to so many people and to, to see that in return, yeah. how much it meant to those people, to have them show up and, um, and support us via uh, sponsorships, um, running races, heading to golf tournaments, um, it would have meant the world to him. And so uh, my children and I can't thank everyone enough. So it yeah. means a lot. Uh, are there any other events if anyone else is interested in supporting this uh, memorial fund that they can go to? Yeah, our next big event is the golf outing, and that is in May right. of 2025. It's May 19th at Green Valley Country Club. And this past year, it was an amazing event. We had about 150 golfers, and it's a beautiful country club. So yeah, our next event is in May, and it's open to everyone. All are welcome, and we hope to see you there. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. That's all for Herodin TV. I'm Sam Ferencik. Thanks, Sam. The committee is currently halfway to their fundraising goal, so if you are interested in donating, you can find more information on lmsd.org under the Sean Hughes Memorial page. Herodin's first ever spike ball tournament will take place on November 23rd. Please refer to the email sent from Mr. DePaul for more information. Herodin the Theater Company is hosting its fall play, Peter Pan, at 7 p.m. on November 21st and 22nd, as well as 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. on the 23rd. Tickets can be purchased on their website, HeritonTheater.com. And that's all for today's Ram Report. Thanks, Thanks for tuning in. I'm Tata. And I'm Maya. And, and this, this is, is the, the Ram Report. Ram Report.